Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee. Today I'd like to simply tell you just a little bit about the science behind neurofeedback and how it works to change the way that your brain is functioning so that you can have better behaviors of your mind and your body. Okay, so the first idea is called operant conditioning. Operant conditioning happens all the time in your real life. So one easy example is if you wear a purple shirt and you go out and lots of people that you see in your day tell you how fabulous you look in your purple shirt, you're likely to wear it again and you're likely to probably buy another purple shirt. Now, say you go out and many people tell you how weird it is that you're wearing purple and how purple makes your skin look blotchy and pale, you are likely to not wear that shirt again anytime soon and probably stay away from the color. So the idea is if something is rewarded, if a behavior is rewarded, it is likely we will see more of that behavior. If a behavior is ignored or punished, it's likely, scientifically, will be conditioned to see less of that behavior. So how that works in neurofeedback is when a person is connected to the neurofeedback system, the system is reading how their brain is performing and is rewarding the brain for performing in a new, better pattern for better behaviors and ignoring or punishing, and that's a strong way, it's actually giving a correction by negative feedback when the brain is in the undesirable pattern. So hence we get more production of the better brain pattern, less production of the one that's causing issues for a person. So if you still don't understand how this works, there's a pretty cool YouTube video that a student in a psychology class made of showing how to condition your professor. That's what it's called. And it shows how operant conditioning works to condition the professor to stand near the door by giving positive feedback when he's on that side of the room and negative feedback when he's on the other side of the room. So you can check it out because it'll probably help you understand more. Okay, so remember this is important because you need to control your brain before it controls you. Thanks.